You can use the joystick while recording to create. Hello, Slamko. Everyone, today uh, I am just going to give you some basic lecture on the selection of impression trays for e dentulus and the complete dentures. What, what, uh, although you are in the final year and uh, already expert in taking the impressions, complete denture and e partially dental impressions, but the selection of impression tray is a cliche. And why it made me think yesterday, uh, I was thinking because I took the competency exam of the third year and one of the students, I asked her why you selected that tray and she was so clever, she answered me and I triggered her that maybe your selection of tray is wrong, do you want to change your tray? She was very confident and she said to me, no ma'am, I will not change the tray because uh, uh, they, I need 4 to 5 mm space between the teeth and the impression tray. Like for example, the impression tray, it should be covering the posterior mode's teeth and all the teeth and all the anatomical landmarks, okay? like in this tray. But it should not be very close like this to your teeth. There should be at least a distance of 4 to 5 mm to record the sufficient thickness of impression material. If it is more than that, a little bit, then it's okay. But if it is less, very less, very close to the teeth, the impression will not be recorded very good. So, the selection of the tray, preliminary selection of the tray, how we do it? First, there is a very accurate method that you sh we should have a divider <coughs> that we place in the patient's mouth and it measures the distance between these, between the last standing six molar or seven, and then we place it on our tool, on our tray, and in the middle of our tray. It should coincide. This will help us in selecting the width. And what about the anterior posteriorly? It should be covering the anterior teeth and the last standing teeth. But what if we don't have a divider? Then it's very important that you initially examine in the patient's mouth. When you, uh, in your OSCE or ISCI exam, and we ask you to take an impression, probably there will be no divider, and it's very time consuming. You will spend a lot of time. So why not, you have examination instruments there, so ask the patient to open the mouth, and do a preliminary examination of all the land-bearing area, uh, the, all the teeth, buccally, lingually, and any other and the hard palate and the soft palate and the frenum and the labial frames or the soft tissues as well so that you have a fairly idea that what kind of impression tray you will use for example in some situations the anterior teeth are very proclined so we use the sizes it is covering all the landmarks but the anterior teeth are proclined and the anterior border is touching with the tray so here we have to change our selection of the tray and if you will examine it preliminary, you can uh, no need to try different trays, small tray, medium tray, large tray. If you are doing so, it shows that someone is very inexperienced. Okay? And this, the same stands for the lower. At least remember 4 to 5 and then space should be there. Sometimes the selection of the tray is correct. But when you place the tray, you place it very close. Now this is the fault not in the selection of the tray, this is in the placement of the tray like this. Like you are placing it too close. So always position your tray, first seat it posteriorly, then anteriorly. It will also help in moving the impression material anteriorly and it will also prevent the gagging. But if you will place first anteriorly and then posteriorly, then all the material will flow posteriorly. So positioning of the tray is very important what will be posterior anterior okay and also you have to see that there should be no hindrance check this if there sometimes the seven is buckly placed or eight is buckly placed the selection of the, the size of the tray is correct but when we place it it's hindering somewhere so then again you have to change the size of the tray okay i have told you the mesiodistal weight 
the anteroposterior but what about the incisor cervical your tray should stay clear of the limiting structures limiting structures kaun se ho jayenge the frenae and the depth of the sulcus the tray should be short of the sulcus for example i will try on a this one ab like you can see in this in this model it is hindering only in one part this 8 and 7 so i have to change my tray but your tray in uh, from the relief areas it should be 2 mm short we gave you the mcqs and there was uh, many students they confused that 2 mm short uh, 2 mm short it is in the length theek hai is a 2 mm short impression tray ko hona chahiye that is the length and that 4 to 5 mm uh, distance between the tray and the teeth that is width wise theek hai so don't confuse that 2 mm short to this 4 to 5 mm space theek hai is it clear yes theek hai and in the complete denture and another thing which uh, i think you guys need to have the difference between the edentulous tray and the partial tray if you will see this is a tray for the edentulous and this is the tray for the partially dented theek hai you can see it is a wider and the flanges are shorter ye jo flanges hain all around they are shorter as compared to the partially dented tray so always while selecting the trays you have two trays if they are placed so if the flanges are shorter and the mesodistal width is wider it is the tray for edentulous patient the same stands for the edentulous at least 4 to 5 mm space between the residual ridge and the tray and at least 2 mm short from the sulcus to accommodate the impression material and to record all the frenae and the sulcus ठीक है वी विल ऑल्सो स्टडी वी विल ऑल्सो स्टडी टूडे हाउ टू मेक द स्पेसर फॉर द स्पेशल ट्रे एंड वाई वी मेक द स्पेशल ट्रे स्पेशल ट्रे इज ऑल्सो कॉल द कस्टम ट्रे दैट वी स्पेशली मेड फॉर द अवर पेशेंट्स एंड दीज आर द स्टॉक ट्रेज एंड अदर नेम फॉर दिस स्टॉक ट्रे दैट यू विल नॉट लिस यू विल नॉट फाइंड एनी वेयर इज द रिम लॉक ट्रेज डू यू सी अ रिम हेयर ऑल अराउंड this is like a fold of the stainless steel all around the impression tray it is for locking of our impression material so that the impression material does not flow a lot outside so it locks the impression tray impression material inside and there is no need of adhesives uh, impression adhesives hote hain which we apply on the non perforated tray there are some trays which don't have perforations and we apply the impression adhesives it adhere the impression with it and the impression does not tear off from the tray because of that theek okay, hai now we will continue later